All right, hey guys, this will be a very brief and short recording. I'm going to show you the Amazon wish list called AMD's suggested or not. No, let me ref AMD. Um, when I say suggested, it's not AMD suggested parts, but these are my suggested parts from AMD for those. I want to kill me a cat who are um, on a tight budget and cannot really afford a lot. There is the option for a decently low to mid and mid build. And then there is the option for those who want to go for a higher end build, at least a decently high end, high mid end build or a high, high end build. Um, I've only got two selections out of here. I've got one for a closed case that has matte black, and you have one for a glass um, paneled um, full tower case. And then the case is the same type. You can go with the closed case, you can go with the glass panel, it doesn't matter. But ultimately, um, and realistically speaking, guys, um, Non RGB lighting is overall cheaper, okay? But um, if you go RGB, it's mainly for the looks, okay, folks? So I tried to look around. Now, like I said earlier, you guys don't have to go with these exact GPUs, but these were the biggest and best, or when I say biggest, I mean the best overalls that I could find that were newer for the decent prices that I could find, okay, guys? That, in my opinion, is a little too high. I'm not expecting anyone to want to get a higher or to pay the price because a lot of these people are third end um, companies or third end parties that are buying these and reselling them. I get why they're doing it, but I don't approve of it. Um, now, like I said, I have a Seagate Fire Cuda. One terabyte for your Windows drive, Seagate, uh, Fire Cuda, two terabyte for your game drives. Okay, guys. Now, these are, you don't have to get the exact name brands. I'm just suggesting to you the best three options between NVMe.m2 SSDs for generation four. You can go with the Samsung 980 Pro SSD series, uh, two terabyte um, for your game drive. And you can get the one terabyte for your game drive or two terabyte for your game drive, one terabyte for your Windows drive. My apology. Or you can go Kingston Fury. OK, guys, two terabyte for game drive, one terabyte for. Um your windows drive now there are two different options here for power supply you don't have to get these options but these are good options they are what i would suggest 130 bucks plus shipping and handling probably i have amazon prime so i get up things a little bit cheaper and within reason thank you amazon prime for that um I only use Corsair power supplies. I only use modular Corsair power supplies. All the other ones I've had bad experiences with and um, Corsair tends to be fairly reasonably easy to deal with um, when it concerns putting the products or the right cords in the right places. Um, now that you have an 850, um, I believe, um, 80 plus gold, or you have a 1200 watt power supply, and um, it's an 80 plus gold efficiency as well. And th this one would give you a lot of room for future proofing and upgrading. Um, in the RAM case, you have your uh, your RGB RAM. There are two or two there. I selected two things of this that one set would give you 32 gigs. OK, but your motherboards that I've selected for a decently priced low budget motherboard, ones that I know how to work with, and even the ones that are higher end that I know how to work with from MSI AMD builds. Um, this is RGB. You get if you buy um two of these at $69.99, you can have literally 64 gigs of RAM. Literally on dual channel RAM, RAM you'd have literally or dual channel RAM, you'd have a total of 64 gigs of RAM. 
All right, now in the basic matte black color of DDR4 RAM, and they're both 3600 megahertz, as you can see, 36, 36, okay. And that's what's advisable for a lot of the new 5000 series Ryzen processors. Um, so Oloy is what I use. Um, there are two sticks here. You have dual channel RAM. I'm advising to get literally um, buy two sets of this. That way you have 36 gig or that you have 64 gigs of RAM. This is the lower mid end or the lower end mid end GPU guy or not GPU but motherboard. I'm suggesting the MSI for the low budget mid mid budget uh, buyers. Um, MSI MPG X570 Edge Max Wi-Fi Gaming Motherboard ATX AMD Socket AM4 DDR4 PCI4 CFX M2 dot or M NVMe dot M2 and it gives you Wi-Fi 6 okay which is overall better internet capabilities then you have the Jeep or then you have the motherboard that I am currently running guys okay you have the MSI Met or you have the MSI Meg AMD X570 Unify AM4 ATX DDR4. Um, so look, guys, this is the motherboard I bought $368. So you're probably looking about maybe after tax, maybe about a good 375 possibly. It's only a possibly. For those who have low budgets and you want at least a decent CPU, okay, guys, um, you have a couple options. You can go with the, AM the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X 6 core along with a decently priced um, GPU. And like I said, GPUs are up here. If I was going to be you, I'd get the 5600X and one of these, I would actually end up going with this GPU because the price and it's got 12 gigabytes of RAM. They both do, but why would you pay the extra 399 when you can pay this? You need to get away from my food cat before I throw you out the window. Yeah. Um, or, you, or, or you can pay the 349.99. I would actually advise you to pay this instead of this, okay? But that's just me, guys, okay? But then again, you could pay the 399 and still get a still get the same GPU, same RAM. Okay, but it's got 12 gigabytes of DDR6 RAM. Never mind, they both have that. So, oh, that's what it was. That was the difference. This one has two fans. Um, so this has two fans. That's why it's cheaper. Now, if you are on a lower budget, you guys can go with this one. And that's what I advise for the lower budget to mid-end budget. Um, for the higher-end budget, guys, I'm going to suggest you stick with this one. This one, until it goes down or until the third-party corporations stop trying to choke people out of their money, um, I'm going to advise this product right here. Okay. Um, now, like I said, lower budget, get the, the two, uh, two fan base CPU mid to higher and get the third, uh, three fan one for three ninety nine. Don't go with the 700 something dollar one. I'm not suggesting that one at all. Now, in the case of this, I would combine for lower budgets, the AMD Ryzen 5 5600 X six core with the MSI um, MPG X570 uh, Max Wi-Fi Gaming Motherboard. Those would be your two best. And now if you want to go RGB or and if you're low budget, or, uh, you would be the matte, uh, you'd be the matte black for 64 gigs of RAM, which is kind of sadly is still, when I say it's still, it's a still in a good way. Or if you want to go RGB, a little bit more expensive, but barely nine dollars more expensive um you could go this um with that ram now um like i said guys there's a list of list of processors here i've selected i have this one i have the amd ryzen 9 5900x 12 core 24 thread unlocked desktop processor that's the one i like okay that's the one i suggest that's the one i would actually encourage if I were to upgrade my computer or upgrade my processor, which I do not plan to do anytime soon, because I have a future proof processor and financially uh, speaking, I cannot logically afford to upgrade. Um, I would like to, um, 
but you ain't got to be for between five and ten years, okay? So this would be the processor I would get if I upgraded, or maybe I would save and get something different. Oh, Lord, sorry about the yawning, guys. I am terribly sorry about that. Um, but for the budget, for the biggest bang for your budget, for a decent, for a great CPU, I would advise this and um, one of these two processors if you're still low budget. So, I mean, seriously, guys, there's ways you can make this work. Now, the problem is with fans. If you guys want to go LED or RGB, you can get one 20 millimeter LED, L, or RGB fans, okay? Or you can get one 40 millimeter. 140 millimeter RGB fans. I've selected two different types for a reason. All right, now to explain that reason, okay, if you're going LG or RGB, then, and you have the budget for it, you have the option between a 420 millimeter RGB um, multi compatible all in one CPU, all in, or CPU water cooler. Okay, you have an option between a 420 millimeter. Or a 620. The 420 holds 140 millimeter fans. All right. The 360 holds 120 millimeter. Okay. They're both about the same price. You just have to see all buying options. Okay. Um, and you want to buy these new, even though the one in mine is technically um, like new. It was returned and I wasn't aware of it until after I bought it which was a fault of my own, but that's okay. Mistakes were made and I'm not going to complain. Now, if you get either one of these two, you're gonna have to get the same amount of fans. You're gonna have to get, you don't have to, but I'm advising it. For any one of these newer CPUs, I'm advising you to keep the fans that are currently on the CPU cooler, okay? Whichever one, whether it be the 420 or the 360. Now, you're also going to want to buy, um, three sets of whether it be the 140 or the 120 you're going to, want to buy three sets of these okay because you'd put three for me if i'm advising you to build a computer with an all-in-one local cooler you want three fans for the push you're basically pushing air or no you're pulling air in is what you're doing you're pulling the air in by putting three fans on the front of the radiator okay then you have three on the back of the radiator that are pulling the air in. You're getting double the capability, double if not triple the cooling capacity. All right, and then you'd put three fans up top, three fans down below, and one in the back for an exhaust. The three up top would be exhaust, the three down below would be intake, um, along with the ones in the front. Would, the ones in the front of the radiator would be an intake, and the ones in the back of the cooler would technically be what you consider exhaust, but it's actually considered a push-pull configuration. So you got air coming in from the front, being pushed out from the back, and it's cooling off components inside the case. And considering the case is a full tower, um, Enthro Pro 2, um, it's got a lot of room to build because it comes empty, and I got a lot of room to work with. Like I said, you're going to need three sets of these. So you'd end up buying nine of these fans, whether the 140 or um, the 120. So basically, you'd, instead of you, you get each of these purchases, you get three fans. One of these come with three, but you'd have to buy three sets. So you get nine fans in total, and then you get the proper cooling. Okay. The same would be for the 120s, as I explained with the RGBs. Now, the same would be the same for the matte blacks, depending on the 360 or the 420, guys. Okay, here's your case. So there's your case, folks. You see this? That is your case. That is a beautiful, amazing case. Now, you don't have to get the, the glass panel case. I could take you this way and I could find the, oh, why is the, why? Why is the closed panel more expensive? Why are you making a closed panel more expensive than a tempered glass? I will never understand you, but that is okay. I'm just gonna advise everybody and anybody to get the tempered glass. That is what I'm gonna suggest because I kind of regret buying the closed panel case, okay? That is my opinion. That is what I have to say. Um, my entire system is closed and um, I would prefer to have the glass panel. But that is just for me after my 
trial and error of doing all this guys so these are what i'm suggesting most of these are different brand names yes but the main components that i'm suggesting the biggest main component is amd software or amd hardware motherboards processors and even gpus i do not currently have a amd gpu in my system because i don't have the funds to upgrade even if i wanted to I have a NVIDIA 3060, um, and I'm content with what I got. But hopefully if things go through like I'm hoping they do, these are things that you guys can look forward to maybe seeing me possibly suggest in the future. And I'm hoping and praying that things work out for the greater good. Um, God bless you guys. This is me just sharing this. I'm not being paid to do this at the moment. Not being paid at all. This is just something I want to do. I am not able to open any of these products and share them with you like I'd like to yet. But maybe in the future, I possibly might be able to. You to AMD, even though you're not my sponsor at all yet. And it's a give or take of whether you might be. Um, I would like to say thank you for giving me an opportunity to try. You know, so thank you and God bless you. And I look forward to in the near future getting everything solved and worked out on my end to turn in the right information. And look forward to hopefully hearing back from you guys in the future. God bless you guys. Take care. Again, thank you, AMD. And God bless you, my community, guys. This is just a little bit about me. I love computers. I love building them. I have a little bit more of a fanboyism over over Ryzen based CPUs. Um, I like I said earlier, it could be a brand favorite. I don't know, but I believe it's the fact that AMD gives you the biggest bang for your buck, and that's why I like AMD. Okay, folks. So God bless you guys. Take care and peace out, fam.